right in search in search of fuel I think it's the next bit I can't remember which way we're supposed to come in or out there oh this has got to be a road so you know I'm presuming well this is the way that it says oh I wonder if this is a road I'll take it I'm going to find out now should be interesting <laughs> the boys are there don't, due to the boogie things that we've got everywhere I'm <laughs> she's looking at me like what's he doing on a bike here I'm allowed honest <laughs> right yeah so I have to get some fuel because I don't like it like I said when he gets down there and then what's the time 10 past well coming up to 10 past 3 so we, we, I think seeing as the weather's old and we don't know what tomorrow's going to be like I think we might even do the uh to the British Memorial. Hey, this is different, isn't it? Look at this, eh? I think when I put these, when I do the videos for all this, which obviously you're going to hear me, I'm, I'm going to do them when I put this on, but yeah, uh, one day is going to be too much what I've done today, so I'll split them into to be continued. <laughs> Well, I can't turn right, it's saying turn right, but that's showing me, that's showing me an arrow there, but no, that's coming from there, isn't it, I would think. Yeah. I'm getting to sort, do you know what, I am still impressed with this trip up, I am. 300 metres, it's not going to be that one, is it? You have got to keep your eye on it and you have got to sort of not guess because that would be totally unfair to the tripper uh, but you know you got to sort of work it out like you know and, and if you do it's really good I, I really do have every faith in it I do I would do when uh, follow the route, but we got traffic lights again. Now is it telling me straight over? It is, isn't it? Yeah. It, uh, look on the mappy bit as well. Yeah, this is where you have to sort of negotiate the two, you know, because you've got that bit there. Look, and then if you look at the tripper, you've got that there. Oops! Stop talking, my boy. So I'm presuming it's telling me to go straight there now. So sometimes you have to look between the two to get a decent sort of where are we going bit, yeah. Another little thing there for the war I would imagine. I forgot about my voice, huh? that come down with a clunk, hey? It's a good job my nose ain't a bit bigger, I mean, according to my wife, it's not the smallest nose on earth. Uh, if it was a bit bigger, I'd have chopped the bloody end off by now. Still. Oh, what if I was donk? Well, no, I'm not. They don't very, very, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Knotty coat, would it be? Yeah.
Well, I think the weather has been very kind to us today, well to me, hence the fact, maybe, I think that we should definitely try and get another one in today because if the weather is going to be what it says it is tomorrow, I mean there's some black clouds rolling in over there, but I don't know, if it is going to be rain all day tomorrow, it's going to be a bit of a pain in the backside, you know, to try and get things done, so even if it means having a day of sort of <laughs> sat in my little cocoa sweets. <laughs> Back up to 27 degrees. It was quite warm. I tell you, walking around there, you don't, you know, you don't realise when you when you've got your, you know, your jeans on. I mean, okay, I, ta I take my coat off and I put it in the panniers. That I was going to take the panniers off. I thought, nah, you know, I'll take them off and I'll leave them in the in the cocoa sweetie thing. But then I thought to myself, well, the trouble is, or the good thing is, at least when I've got the panniers on, I can put stuff in. See now, now I know you can't hit it, but turn right and then go through one roundabout. So, yeah, straight on basically. I think he's telling me to turn right here. This is quite pleasant. This is different here, the green stripes on the road. I'm not too sure what it means, but it's different. Well, look at this, we have a bit of sun trying to peekaboo through now. Hey? Eh? But we do have some nice big black clouds up this way. I don't know what happened to go through one roundabout, but now it's changed his mind. Not to worry though, eh? Actually, I think this maybe is go through one roundabout. Possibly. Yep, I think it was. See, it doesn't remind you, you gotta think. Look at that. Sorted, all right.
Oh, I don't really want to do that near door. Hang on a sec. I was sort of going in the wrong sort of way again. I'm, I'm getting really good at this these, these days. Come down to this one here, look. Oops, a dozer. Right, that's the petrol sorted. Do you know what? I went to three pumps there. Every time I put my card in, it kept saying that the magnetic strip wasn't working. I thought, great, that's all I need. Card failed. Right, but well, we got it done. So, full tank of gas. Now, what we're going to do now, because it's only half three, so I thought, right, Let's go, let's go and see the British Memorial, let's do it today, just in case tomorrow we do get this awful rain, yeah? <laughs> oh, nearly swallowed a bug, pesky little things get everywhere. And we're off. Drop this down a bit. Soon to get out of this busyness, hopefully. Third one. Pizzas. Not that we need any right now. That's going up there, I can still go down there. I seem to be spending more time in busy towns just lately, well today, than I have done for ages and I really don't like them. <laughs> right. We're we'll soon to get out of here though, hopefully. And then we'll get back to the coast road. I like the coast. The coast is good, yeah? Back to our Winston Churchill drive again. He gets around, he does the old geezer. Hey, fair play to him. It's certainly, uh, it's, it's gone very, not very, but it's gone a lot more humid than it was. I think this is about the third time we've been around here today. One, two, three. There you go. Oh, get to me. Right, so we'll go to the British War Memorial and then after that we're going to call it a day because there's a little bit of walking involved in this one. Oh yes, actually think about it, might be able to get a coffee here if I remember rightly. There's a bit of a bit of a like a um, you know like a, a I'll get the right word in me, a wagony thing, a hutty thing, or whatever you want to call them. Ah, oh, 
he wanted me to turn up there, that's not good is it? D12, wow See? Now that's where you got to spot it, see? If I hadn't been looking when I went there Yeah? Who's a silly boy then? Oh, bit of a lump, bit of a lump. Oops, said Isaac. Uh, not a huge one, but still a bit of a lump. Right. Get some air flowing round is always the nice thing to do. It's only about 20 minutes away this so that's what I thought we'd do it and then after that back to the old cocoa suite sit down have a coffee even if I get a coffee here I'm still gonna have a coffee there Gotta try and remember me. Oh, that was a good one. That was something big just whacked into the visor of the trees. I'm glad it hit the visor and not a bit lower down. Because the thing is, even these ornits, which I'm not saying it was, but it looked a bit orangey and it was bloody hard. So even these ornits, if they whack into your chest, they'll sting you like mad, you know? And if they persist in climbing up, crawling because of the winds blowing them up, under the helmet, oh, could be day. Just think of the pain, or rather not, I'd rather not think of the pain. I suppose, in a way, that's the only good thing about winter. <laughs> you don't get on it. <laughs> If if uh, if I remember rightly, somewhere along here, we actually follow the coast road into this because obviously, obviously it's uh, it's over uh, uh, over Omaha Beach. So yeah, uh, somewhere along here, I think it turns us down, and we do go up the coast road for a bit. Well, we are actually going to turn in a minute. Four hundred kilometres. Two hundred and fifty. Could it be this one here? Do you think? No, it's not that one. A hundred and fifty. It's this one here. Strange turning. No? Now it's going to tell me I've gone wrong again, isn't it? Because it's flashing at me. Flashing at me all over the way. See, that's where it. That's where it. Sometimes, human error and it work hand in hand because I don't know where it wanted me to go. Then there wasn't another turn left. If you know what I mean. And now I think it's going to take me all back up that main road again. But I'm not too sure where it. I'm really not too sure where it wants me to go I'm 
not there we ain't Mind you, I've got to be honest, some of these little French villages and the turnings, you know, you can have two or three turnings quite close together, you know? And I think I think I think that's what does it to it, you know, and maybe I don't help. Good job I got the fuel. <laughs> okay, it wants me to go down here now. I think you're checking uh, the mic. Now, da -da, this ain't a road, surely. Make a U turn. You don't say. Now this time I ain't having it because it ain't that that wasn't all me. You know, it got itself well and truly lost. Aye. It really did. So, Tripper, you didn't do a good job there, and I ain't checking the blame for that one. And it's getting hot, so sort it out. Can't be that hard. Has he lost the connections? Have we, have we got no signal? I think we've got no signal. I think that's the problem. Look. Oh, make a U-turn now. Come on. I don't think this thing is quite knowing what it's doing. I think it's right. Let's see if we can get it back, because. It's been a bit of a bad rabbit this time, innit, eh? And that certainly wasn't me. Actually, I think I put the visor down, although that's nice. Right, it certainly needs now to try and get itself back. So we know where we're going. Woo! Oh, that's a nice bit of air. Well, it would have been if the boys had stayed up. Right, concentrate. Right, Rue de l'Eglise, which this is. Right, that's the name of the road. So we got the name. No so we're going the right way. Well, we're going where it's telling me. Okay, we well, hopefully we're back on track, eh? Oh, that is nice, I tell you. It's so nice. Getting a bit stuffy. Now, isn't this the bit? This is the bit where it all went wrong, are yeah? D12. D12 is up there. So why did it send me down here? Huh? When it's telling me to go here. See? So in actual fact, I mean, there was three different turnings there. So the first... You know, there was three different turnings there, and I don't think it or me got it right. Well, maybe it did. <laughs> oh, dearie me. 
I have noticed though, uh, you know, touring around France for years now, and a lot of their little villages, you do come across things like, like that, where there's loads of little turnings all off the same junction, you know, and you think, what's going on? Anyway, there you go, eh? Hopefully we've got out of that bit, and hopefully we're going to where we should be going, I'd like to say. Right, now, that fuel that I put in after the... I can't believe... I, you know, I went to three different pumps. Every time I put my card in, it was saying to me, something about the magnetic... Bear in mind it's in French. Something about the magnetic... Slide your card in slowly and pull it out slowly. Well, I kept doing that. Everybody thought I was going... I'm standing here at the pump. Dearly, mate. I thought, well, this is... I, I thought my card had gone... I thought, oh, that's great. You know, my card's knackered. What do I do? Oh, okay, I suppose, you know, you find a bank. That means going into a city. I don't do cities. That would have been horrible, eh? Anyway, so, when I eventually got to the fuel, well, the, the third pump, which I was going to give up on. I don't know what I was going to do, but I was going to give up on. And then I thought, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do it one more time. Slide it in carefully to the stop. Anyway, right, um, so, yeah, and then finally, it actually worked. Now, this was showing right down, okay, my trip F hadn't come on. And I filled it up to the top, and that gave me 16 euros worth of fuel, well, just over, so, yeah. I can't believe that bloody farmer, eh? I mean, come on. You know, there's nothing behind me, absolutely nothing. And he waits and pulls out in front of me. So if he isn't a motorbike hater, I don't know what he is. You know what? Get a life, mate. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I should have turned there. See? That's me. I'm too busy moaning at the farmer. I'm in the wrong gear. <laughs> Sorted. See? Now there you go. That's karma, isn't it, eh? Stay cool. <laughs> Stay cool. God dear. That's a nice little, that's one of them little, uh, what are they, them, uh, is it a hawky thing, that? Oh, was it? I don't know. Anyway, not to worry. Chill out. I gotta chill out. <laughs> I, ju I, ju I just, it's when people do something like, like that. That was absolutely just done on purpose. You know, and you think, why would you do that? You know what I mean? It, it's just obviously he doesn't like bikes, but taking advantage because you've got a tractor and a trailer it just shows what sort of low life he really is still so, never mind eh right pay attention now <laughs> and next time when you do a u-turn <laughs> oh dear I oh, don't know Right, where are we? So... I sort of remember this uh, from when I was here the last time. This is, if I remember rightly, this is sort of coming into it the back way which, uh, unfortunately, I, I, I was hoping to come down the coast road, but never mind, eh? Such is life. Telegraph pole fell over there. <laughs> Wonder what that is up there. That's something like a 
I don't know. It's probably something war orientated. I'm, I'm not too sure what. I can see the sea over there so that's and we're heading in that direction so there you go well the sky you know what considering that it was going to rain today I, <laughs> The sky, if anything, seems to have cleared up. Be interesting to see what tomorrow's going to bring us, huh? I mean, I'm hoping that it's going to be kind and it's going to be dry and that would be great, you know? Because we're riding in the rain. Well, like I said, if it was absolutely throwing it down, I don't think I'd bother. I mean, coming down here Sunday, I didn't have much choice really, did I? I was like, <laughs> over halfway, so, you know, what was I going to do? Turn round and go back. Hello, darling. I've come home because it was raining. Yes. I could imagine the answer to that one. And it wouldn't have been nice. <laughs> Now I do remember this because in the distance there, and I don't think you'll get it on the GoPro, but there's a there's a big there's a big like row of trees and that I do remember so yeah. Are up a bit and get a bit of fresh air, you know. Like I said, going to make this one the last one today. But uh, when I do the, when I put the videos on, obviously today, what what's been done, it's too much to go in on one. I mean, I know I like, I know I like my long videos, but even so, that could be a bit too long, yeah. a bit of a sunken manor. I mean this is it in it these roads when they was constructed years ago they was just never intended for that sort of thing coming down and was they you know what I mean and then all of a sudden, <laughs> they do. And this is quiet, isn't it? I mean, you know, let's let's be honest. He 
it's not busy today, well not round here. My kind of road this is, I like this sort of road. Much better. What have we got here? We got a slight left. Mind you, I've got the sun on it now, <laughs> which don't help. First time it's actually done that, but still. Slight left hand to Avenue, which I take it is up here. And here we go, eh? This is it. Okay, destination reached. Destination reached. So this is the British Memorial. Well, there's my little cafe thing, but I've got a, I've got a feeling it might be shut. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Such is life, eh? Right. Yeah, that is it, but yeah, that's shut. And there we go, eh? One engine switched off, bit of quiet. These are a bit weird for bikes, but uh, I'm sure it will do the job. Eh? I'll just get off. <sighs> right. Okay, so I'm going to switch you off now and swap cameras. Okay, so. Let's have a stroll. Just check the bike over again, make sure I've locked everything. I have this real bad habit of forgetting to lock things. Looks pretty good. Right. So, shame that the little, uh, that's the, that's the little, the little cafe there. But, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, it's shut. So, looks like I'll be having my coffee when I get back to the Coco Suite, eh? A few more bikers here, look, not two. Don't exaggerate too much. Now all these slabs here, the, the like, tributes and Telling you what happened and everything else. Three bikes, not two, got it wrong. Hang on a sec, I just need to, to move that a bit because it and I think it still is catching. Oh then that hold on. There you go. That's probably a bit, bit better. Now we're actually not gonna walk that way because everybody else is coming down here so we'll, we'll be the awkward one and just throw it now just over the other side of this field well when I was here last all this was in bloom beautiful it was uh, it looked like lavender or something like, like that I'm not too sure but it's very difficult to say
they're all, the, <laughs> they're all discussing me walking along talking to myself with a GoPro <laughs> Oh dear. Right. It all makes for a better life, doesn't it? We'll just nip across here, look. <sighs> oh, look at that there. Look at these there. Hey? Moto Latvia, eat your heart out, mate. Hey? We've got our own mushrooms. I <laughs> know, oh, I definitely don't think they're but of the edible type. I shouldn't really be walking across the grass, should I? It's quite expensive. Okay, look at that. It's, it's a hell of a walk up there, still. Never mind. Right, I'm not going to stop and read every one of these, but yeah, this is it. It all tells you, you know, about the Mulberry Arbors look, uh, which we saw a bit earlier on, uh, and the poor weather conditions. There's a, and, it, and it tells the story like all the way down, yeah. God, I tell you what, it's getting really warm now. I think this opened up, what was it, about four years ago, I think this was, when it was first uh, first put into commission. Uh, and it was, in my opinion, and I've, I've said this before, uh, it was way overdue. <laughs> I, like, I like the signs here, look. Uh, and I, no motorbikes, no push bikes, no electric scooters, no horses, no dogs, and no drones, hey? Huh? Yeah, no drones. And I, I sort of, I sort of get that, you know. Um, I was going to bring my drone down with me, uh, but like I said, I've actually been here a few times, and I've got that one. <laughs> Oh dear. Actually, I bet, I bet you can walk that way, can't you? Hey? It's still a little roady thing, isn't it? Hey? Yeah, of course it is. If I want to walk this way, why should not? I'm not hurting anybody. I can get the, the better view there. Look, hey? look at that. Out to see. Lovely job. Bonjour. Oh, this, you know, this is still clunking on this chain here at the moment. And it's so annoying when you play it back. Sometimes I seem to get it in the right position and it's okay. But I can eat it myself now, so it's really annoying me now. Hang on a sec. Let's see if that makes any difference there. I might do. Right. God, dear me. It's a walking half, this is. Eh? I could have done a bit of off-roading on the uh, on, on the Himalayan, couldn't I? Eh? But I think they, uh, they made that pretty clear with the no motorbikes. Uh, the temperature's definitely coming up. I could have definitely done with that coffee. Mind you, I've got some water on the bike, so I think I've got to have a swig of that when I get back. Turn it around there. So there it is. Have a study from here first, yeah. Enjoy that bit of a breeze. Uh, I think I'm going to walk this way and then no one will think, what's this man doing? How dare he film us out? <laughs> Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to walk this way with all the, there's a few lumps and olds, but never mind. Always be the, the awkward one. 
he gets me. Isn't it funny how they say like no bikes, no drones, no push bikes, and everything else. But you can bring dogs down here. The French allow their dogs everywhere. Yeah. Mind you, I'm not too sure whether this comes under French jurisdiction. If it's anything like the American cemetery, that land that it sits on is Americans it's American land it was given to the Americans, so I'm not too sure with this one. Uh, anyway, that's beside the point. Personally, I don't think dogs should be brought down there. You know, uh, it's a memorial. It's to come and pay your respect. Not to bring your dog down here for the dump. But there again, you know, I mean, I'm a dog owner. I, I've owned dogs all my life. And, uh, I wouldn't bring my dog here. Mind you, if I brought my dog here, <laughs> nobody else would come in. <laughs> oh dear. I'm not into all this walking. I'm not a walking person really. No, motorbikes, push bikes, basically anything with wheels, yeah? Yeah, now you can sort of get to see what this is like, yeah? No. I mean, on every one of those pillars are names, you know, literally, every pillar, and that walls, all the walls around there, of all the British servicemen lost in this horrific battle. <laughs> I don't know, it's pretty senseless really, isn't it? <laughs> I'll tell you something, I don't think we're going to be getting any thunderstorms today. Not now. <laughs> it speaks too soon. So even these look, you know, I don't know, hang on. In the memorial and tribute to all members of the airborne forces who provided the spearhead operation Overlord on the 6th of June 1944. This is Reginald Burton. Hucknall, Nottingham, 8th Battalion of the Parachute Regiment. Huh. I mean, it is, it's, it doesn't matter it, 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 if I go to this one or I go to the American one. I don't know, there's just something about them all. You know, look at all these there, uh, every column, every column, all the names, literally every single column. Uh, uh, you know. Take it, that's our uh, biker friends over there. Now this is the bit that I like when you actually go through here and uh, you look out over on the hard beach, which is what it was all about of course. And not so much for the British, that's the American one. for a minute, look at that, eh? I mean it just, you know, it just goes on doesn't it? Every column, names up on the walls, ah, I mean there's too much to read, you know, you've got to, you come here and, you know, put a lot of tributes out. What a beautiful, calm place this is, look at that, what a beautiful view, eh? You think about it, it didn't look like that when this all took place, eh? I mean, magnifica.
magnifique. Hey. You know, column after column after column. Huh. I don't quite know how many columns are there. I'm certainly not going to walk around and count them. But yeah. Beautiful place. I mean, it is a beautiful place. Uh, but long overdue. This should have been here years ago. You know, these people, every one of these names gave us what we've got today and yet <laughs> you have to question I wonder if they actually came back and seen what we've done with all their hard work what they sacrificed their lives for the way this world's turned out maybe they wouldn't be so impressed eh? but that's beside the point they did it and they did it so that we me all the young people who all have a life. <sighs> what have we got here? What's this? Harry's Bench. This bench stands in lasting memory of Harry Harry Billinge in BE. Harry was a member of the 44 Commando Royal Engineers on D Day, who was one of the first to land on Gold Beach. He was 18 in his latter years. He worked tirelessly to raise funds for this memorial. With gratitude and affection from his many friends, the Normandy Memorial Trust. And that's, a, I don't know if, how well the GoPro is going to pick it up, but that's a, that's a picture of how he looked there before he died. With all his medals. And you know what? Fair play to him, huh? Hey. Fair play to them. Another one here, look. I mean, there's, there's, there's lots, isn't there? You know, lots. Absolutely lots. But yeah. So, the British Memorial. Uh, absolutely gorgeous place. And rightly so. You know. Right, okay then, well you know what, I'm going to end this video now, uh, what, I think I'll do a little one when we get back to the Coco Suite with a cup of coffee, but I'm going to end it now, um, I'm going to go back to the bike, I'm going to have me a swig of water, and uh, I'll see you back at base, as they say, alright, catch you later, bye for now. Well good evening. So, home sweet Coco home, eh? We're back. I'm back. What a lovely evening. Beautiful sunshine. It's nice and warm, but not too hot. So, all in all, today has been pretty good, yeah? Been to a few places, hopefully. Just check tomorrow's weather. It has changed slightly, so with a bit of luck, it just might be better. Right. So, uh, yeah. I'm pleased with what's gone on. I'm so happy that today we got no rain. That makes such a difference. Right then, so, upright and early in the morning. Uh, we're going to go to a cemetery tomorrow morning. Well, weather permitting. Uh, a cemetery with a little bit of a difference. Right, so, I hope you've all enjoyed what's gone on so far. Um, keep churning in until the trip's finished. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.